you may think it's artistic and you may think it's cool, but doggy style with the devil is nothing other than degenerate. And I know when you're young, you may think that those kind of things are like, here we go. You may think those kind of oh, things. Oh, no. They showing it? They Yo, they really pulled it up, bro. <laughs> How'd you pull that up so fast? How? <laughs> and all things evil and wrong with this world, your favorite rapper shouted you out. Did you see it? Yeah, I did see yeah. it. Oh, try to guess the rapper? Who do you think the rapper is? Christian, you, you know about rappers. Who do, you think, who do you think shouted out Andrew Tate? 50 Cent. Yo, I've been listening to many men like on repeat this past week, bro. Who do you think? He says it's going to be somebody you don't follow. It, it said Andrew Tate's favorite rapper. I would, I would, yo, am I wrong? Is it not 50 Cent? I would, because 50 Cent's an OG, bro. I think it'd have to be 50 Cent. All right, let's see. Favorite rapper. That, that rapper who you super like. He's not my favorite rapper. He is your favorite rapper. He's I think not. he is. Oh, I'm wait, sure. wait. Maybe so. Maybe he insulted him? <laughs> Shit. Drake? Drake? <laughs> I can find it. I don't know if I can make it fit on the screen, though. So it's here, but, um, in. Lil oh, Lil Nas X. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn, Lil Nas X. <laughs> oh, shit. my cousin's like, I definitely don't follow him. <laughs> Breathe air. Oh, shit. Yo, that kind of that kind of hurt a little bit. Emotional damage. X. Lil Nas X shouted me out. Your so. favorite rapper. <laughs> yeah, when I when I the Piers Morgan interview is currently going massive and in the Piers Morgan interview I said people like Lil Nas X are more detrimental to the world than me because he was literally twerking on the devil <laughs> And I don't know why people are trying to pretend that I'm the most difficult and dangerous man in the world for some reason when people like him are propagating that uh, To the the youth of the day they were saying that my content can be misunderstood by the youth and I said well all content can be misunderstood by the youth, but there are people just as famous as- I mean, look, look at Lil Nas X, bro. Look at Lil, Lil Nas X was literally promoting a satanic shoe. Nobody had an issue with it at all. And listen, I think, yo, let, let him do what he's going to do. But freedom of speech is getting canceled. Masculinity is getting canceled, all right? Just talking is getting canceled. But oh, oh, go follow Satan, you know? Buy this satanic shoe and put it on you and, and make this a part of who you are, your identity or whatever, right? The shit you wear speaks volumes about who you are, right? And that's promoted to little kids. And it's not an issue. Me, who were doing things which I truly believe are genuinely detrimental. And, and little Nas, he, he, he did some tweet saying, bro, stop talking about me. I'm not going to let you smash. Little Nas, <laughs> I don't want to have sex with you because I'm not homosexual. The point I'm trying to make is, my friend, and this is genuine. This is not an insult. This is a genuine conversation I want to have with you. You may think it's artistic and you may think it's cool, but doggy style sex with the devil is nothing other than degenerate. And I know when you're young, you may think that those kind of things are like, here we go. You may think those kind of oh, things. Oh, like no. They showing it? They Yo, they really pulled it up, bro. <laughs> How'd you pull that up so fast? How? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I watched it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is I, I'll I'll agree this much, bro. Listen. This is this is where I can kind of rationalize this artistic behavior. All right. It's Andrew Tate says controversial things, but he says controversial things that he can stand by. Right. He has a certain value behind what he has to say. Lil Nas X, do you praise the devil? Do you really worship the devil in this way, or are you just doing this for views, for clout? Because it looks crazy. And I can, I can give you some credit. I can give you a little bit of credit for artistic um, clout chasing, all right? I can give you credit for that. It was definitely very creative. But do you truly believe in this? No, if you don't, then it stands for nothing. It means nothing. And all your viewers, all the young children that respect you and follow you and look up to you, that's what you're pushing on them. Like, you need to be held accountable for that shit, man. Don't get mad about it. Take accountability for it. Andrew Tate is making you self-aware, so now you need to become what? Self-accountable for the shit you're putting onto other people. That's it. That's all it is. That's all it is. Edgy, and it's important that we break social stereotypes. 
it's actually disgusting and there's no need to insult christianity like that and oh no nah, somebody said lil bot x <laughs> that's crazy there's also no need to worship the devil like that nothing good can come from being an absolute degenerate and thinking that having anal sex doggy style with the devil is somehow good for the world this is not about gay it's not about straight i wouldn't have sex with a female devil yeah. I wouldn't have sex with a female. He's young. That's why yeah. I wouldn't have sex with a female devil. I have massive influence. I would never promote Satanism. I would never promote anything to do with the devil. I think that any that doing that is largely and absolutely irresponsible. And let me tell you what's actually cool. Nas X or little Nas X. What's cool is promoting people to be good to each other and to be nice to each other. And you can sit here and say, well, I'm intolerant because I'm not tolerant of you having sex with the devil. The devil in and of himself is an intolerant being. Mm. If you believe in tolerance, you must believe in God. You can't be out here promoting these things. What you're doing is genuinely disgusting. And what's happened is this. All right. Here's my contention, all right? Lil Nas X can do that. All right. He can do that. I think he's young. He's allowed to do that. I don't think he should be canceled for it at all. But I think he should be held accountable, all right? And I think that this could be a learning lesson for him. Unless Lil Nas X wants to come out tomorrow and double down and be like, yo, I'm a satanic worshiper. You should accept that shit. Cancel him, bro. <laughs> what? Then that's why I'll be like, yo, nah, nah, you're taking it way too far, bro. He didn't come up with this idea. Someone above him came up with this idea. Some artistic producer, some record producer, someone came to him and said, this is going to be cool. This is going to break the internet. He's 21. You're young. You're young. He's impressionable. You're going to have sex with the devil. This is going to break the internet. And he's too young to know any better. So he did it. And my, my advice to you, little Nas X, is that you're going to have a legacy because you're a famous person. You live in a very special life. You're going to be remembered for a very long time. You don't want to be remembered for these things. You want to be remembered for your kindness and your grace. And when people come to you and try and use you and abuse you because of your naivety, because you're young, and say, have sex with the devil on camera because they have ulterior motives, you need to sit up and say, no, I don't think my young children fans need to see me having anal sex with the devil. I think that's a bad thing to do. And I can interject right here by saying... You see, I feel like Andrew Tate is kind of trying to be an older brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of like older brotherly advice. Like, he's just being straight up with you. He's being honest. Like, yo, have a little bit more value. Have a little more dignity in the work that you put out there. That's it. That's all. I, I think that's the true point he's, not, he's trying to make. He's not trying to cancel him. Now, let's go to the, to the live, to the live uh, messages because you guys are going crazy. Dojo of Game. Lil Nas X is an agent of the Matrix. <laughs> Lil Ba X has a nice ring to it. Uh... Uh, Gabadi, the sad thing is that this is going to go on one ear and out the other of Lil Ba X. Yo, listen, Lil Nas X. All right. I, I, ho I hope you open up. I hope you actually listen to this. I hope this reaches you and, you know, maybe you could take a little more. You can be self-aware of it now and you could take more self-accountability because the people around you, they're going to be like, no, keep doing that. You should be able to do that. And you should be able to do that. But you should also be able to understand, hey, this is probably not best for the people that are watching me. That's it. That's it. Uh, let me see. Somebody said, uh, devil or not, parents should hold some responsibility over what their kids watch. Thoughts? Absolutely. I completely agree. I completely agree. All I'm saying is that Lil Nas X, all right, he should just think about what he's putting out towards his content. That's it. All is being done is being, his content is being challenged by Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is an example of he put himself in a position to be challenged by who? Piers Morgan. And we've just seen this interview recently. All right. Um, let me see. Tyreek McLaughlin. Parents should do their jobs and control what their kids see and grow up on. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, even if the kids were, were um, you, you take away their laptops, you take away their iPhones, you, take, you, you, you truly control what they, what they watch, they're going to go to school and they're going to talk about it and they're going to watch in some other kid's phone. All right. The best thing you can do is sit down and have a conversation if your kid is watching this and praising this and idolizing this and be like, hey, listen, do you think that Lil Nas X truly idolizes these things? No? Okay, good. Because that is not good. What is, sat what is satanic rituals promoting? All right. Is it bad? You know, really try to reason with your kids. Don't just say no to say no. Really try to try to talk to them like small little adults. All right. And then that's the way you're going to get it through their brain. If you sit here and you try to just shut them down and be like, no, you're going to give these kids emotional damage. And they're just going to end up watching it and praising it just to piss you off. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to keep it 100. Um, Lil Bot X. Lil Bot. <laughs> Henceforth, he is now known as Lil Bot X. Bro, yo, did y'all make that up? 
Is, did that happen here? Breathe air. Fucking Old Town Road was a banger. It was a banger, and there was nothing degenerate in that video or about it. It was playing from the United States to Romania to South Korea. I heard that song everywhere. I enjoyed that song. You obviously, you obviously have the talent. There's no need for this kind of behavior. There's no need. So please clean your act up. Don't let them abuse you Don't because let... they're going to convince you that it's artistic or it's funny. It's not funny. It's, there's nothing cool about that. And that's what I'm saying. That kind of content's genuinely dangerous. That kind of content's the kind of stuff you don't want children seeing. And that's why, I mean, his reply is something about how I'm how I obsessed with him and when I have sex with him. I don't even mention the guy. I'm just giving him advice as an older man to a younger man. Great. You're being used. You're being used to promote Satanism. And the reason they are trying to promote Satanism is the same reason they're trying to promote a bunch of other things. They want to destroy all morality. They want to destroy all morality on nearly every level by destroying the baseline of morality amongst the populace. It allows you to be completely open to the slave mind programming. They're trying to empty your brain. If you have morals, if you have things you believe in, if you believe in certain actions and acting and conducting yourself in a certain way, when they try and come at you with the slave mind programming, there's a certain amount of programming you're going to reject because it's going to go against your morals. It's going to go against your morality by destroying all of that, by saying you have no morals. You don't believe in anything. Nothing you think is wrong is real. That's all stereotypes. That's all intolerance. Let's completely empty your brain. They want to empty your brain so they can inject new programming. That's it. You need to have some morals to stand on. I wish him the best. So you see, this is where I this is where I, I just I just mentioned about yo, you need to have certain values. You need to stand behind the things that you're putting out there. You need to have a certain uh, rationalization and reasoning in your head. Because guess what? When somebody sits here and they, and they take your message in the wrong way, you can explain it to them in a in a sensible way. All right, you can have a little bit of empathy for why they for why you can understand why they think that way, how they misconstructed your message, and you can give a better response. All right, and and that's called self improvement. That's called self growth. That's called being a level headed person. So shout out over here to. Uh, Gabba E, he said, on a serious note, love the show, my guy. Love the level-headed reactions. Thank you so much, bro. Shout out to you. Yes, that's Haram. 